Geographic data can add a lot to any place-based story. It can support a point you're trying to make, or just reveal something interesting about the world. Getting involved with data, though, can feel complicated, daunting, even overwhelming and a bit scary. The good news is, the thematic mapping feature in Story Maps offers a built-in way to configure simple, data-based maps in just a few minutes without any expertise required. Thematic maps are great for numerical data, like the one Cooper Thomas put together for his story Happiness in the Time of Coronavirus, depicting self-reported happiness scores for countries around the world. They can also incorporate categorical data. The story Charlie's Crystal Ball, for instance, uses a thematic map to relate laws governing the sale of alcohol in each U.S. state. Configuring a thematic map is surprisingly easy. Thematic maps can be added to the main body of a story or as the media portion in a sidecar slide. Upon picking thematic map from the block palette, you'll first be asked to choose from one of a few pre-selected regions of the world. Once you do, you'll see an empty map of that region, along with a data table that you can fill out to start populating the map. If the data is already in a table outside of the Story Maps Builder, say, in a spreadsheet, the thematic map editor is equipped to accept a simple copy and paste. Once your data is entered, you can move on to the Options tab, where you have full control over how the data will appear on the map. By default, the map will be color-coded by category, where each unique value will appear as a different color. You can assign these colors based on a selection of predetermined color ramps, or you can individually customize any or all of the colors. You can also configure the color of the areas that don't have a value. Additional options include keeping the legend visible or not, and opting to disable the rollover pop-ups, sensible for a map like this one with just a few extremely simple categories. Another possibility is to completely hide any areas with no values. That can be a neat trick to focus the map on a particular region within a region for instance, this map depicting the Appalachian Trail's mileage in each state that it passes through. Notice that the visualization type is now set to color-coded by number, and that the colors now follow a gradient rather than being tied to specific values. This opens up even more options, such as whether to display the color ramp as a continuous gradient, or to give it a set number of discrete hues. For the latter, you can dig even deeper with determining how those steps are broken down. Finally, one more visualization style for numerical data is to display it via proportional symbols. Each area with a value will be represented by a circle, ranging from small to large depending on the relative size of the value. As always, you can change the color of the symbols to your liking. Thematic maps are still a work in progress, and we're always thinking about how to improve them. Some of the things we're working on now are the ability to bring in your own custom symbol for proportional symbol maps, as well as adding some additional region options. As you're experimenting with thematic maps, if there's anything you'd like to see, please don't hesitate to use the feedback form available in the help menu in the header.